All right, hello again, folks. This is Nate again, and today I want to talk about getting uh, high-quality analog audio onto high onto VHS tapes. Now, this I uh, got an, the idea for this project because other folks on YouTube have done this, and uh, the results I got were pretty impressive. But I wanted to try this out myself, and I wanted to take advantage of not only the high-quality audio, but also the video part of it because. Uh, you're going to be recording anyway, so why not um, make use of the audio and the video channels and we'll see what we can get. Alright, so what do you need to pull off this project? Um, obviously, first thing you need, a VHS player. Now, I got this one off of eBay because it has the ability to uh, control the audio levels when you're recording, but any um, uh, VHS which says high five audio should work just as fine. This just uh, made it a lot easier for me to test the uh, particular settings and all. Um, if you want something similar, just uh, search for uh, VHS uh, recorders which with dubbing uh, ability. And if you have dubbing ability, that usually means they have the uh, record levels. So, next thing you need is uh, this HDMI to AV converter. Now, make sure you get the right thing. Most of these things are going to be uh, uh, AV to HDMI, but you actually need an HDMI to AV. And the reason is you're going to take the HDMI output from the computer, which I assume is what you're going to be using to record music onto, to get it into the VCR. And lastly, you need uh, this car rear view monitors. And this just acts like a, a, a mini TV to show you what's playing on the VHS. So let me just turn everything on so you could see what um, everything looks like. I kind of like this, uh, you know, kind of futuristic uh, fun, you know, design of this uh, VHS. You know, door falls down, nice soft touch buttons. But believe it or not, this was made in the late 80s, and uh, and it surprisingly uh, performs really well. This may have been serviced over the years, but we'll see. All right, so. All you really have to do to set this up is essentially get the MP3 player, uh, or in my case, I'm you know I'm developing a, a web app to let me uh, play uh, YouTube uh, videos and playlists. Uh, so I'm going to show you both. But I'm just using the basic uh, uh, MP3 player that, came, that comes with Windows. And you notice that whatever is displayed on my screen is going to be displayed here. And that's where using the video audio channel uh, is so important because. If I could see what's playing, I could get the track information, and if I'm going fast forwarding and rewinding, I could see exactly where I'm at in the tape, rather than just guessing. Uh, well, I maybe in, uh, in the song I like, the thing I like is an hour, you know, hour and a half in. Uh, so this makes it a little easier. And so, thing to keep in mind though, if you're gonna do this, make sure you go into full screen mode. Uh, in this case, so that the entire whatever you see here is recorded and it plays back in uh, when you play it back you see that in my case this uh, the fonts on these are uh, a little too small so I kind of modify my um, the, the, the web app and development to play mp3s to just let me know uh, output what's being played in much uh, bigger font so if I take this to you know, full screen mode You know, you have not only track information, but you also have a QR code. And the QR code on there is very cool, right? Because what can I do? I can scan the QR code. Anyone could scan the QR code. And it takes them back to this, um, the YouTube video. All right. So that's why you have track information. If you want to get the digital uh, version of this, you just scan it. But that's just a web app I've been working on for the last year. Uh, but you don't need it. Any MP3 player, which you, which uh, you could clearly see what's being displayed, is all you need. So, how what were the results of this, and what did I expect? I yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. Let me just tell you this, because I've been messing around with my cassette uh, players, and the quality of the cassettes are okay. Um, but uh, you know, I wasn't willing to spend like a thousand dollars to get a very high end deck that's being serviced. So. I hit my limit on that. That was it. A hundred dollars for uh, for a cassette deck is what I'm willing to pay, 
and I'm sure I could get them to sound a little better, but they sound okay. This on the other hand, you know, you get a $50 VCR would sound just as well as a $1,000 deck. So if your goal is just to get that nice warm uh, sound you get from uh, on tapes with very low hiss or noise, that's in today's day and age, that's the best for it. And you could get um, track information as such. All right, so let's give this a play and we'll see uh, how well this, uh, this works here. So this is playing. Again, really good sound quality. I don't want to play too long because I might get flagged for copyright infringement. And you could fast forward, you want to find all the tracks as such. You know, you kind of realize why CDs, um, the advantage of CDs, even though the sound quality of this and a CD are pretty close. Uh, if I want to find tracks, yeah, uh, I got to spend a little time doing that. So, all right, so we now track two. I don't know who is this, but this is, all right, Michael Jackson. And I, you know, I went through the trouble of putting two hours worth of audio on this, and it definitely holds two hours worth of audio. And I believe um, if extended play, you get six hours. Unfortunately, this seems to have extended play, but I don't have the remote to, to and there's no button that you could switch to it. But I did order another v, um, uh, VCR, which uh, I should be able to easily switch between extended play. And I'll give that a test and put it in a in the next video. So again, is this practical if you just want high quality audio? Think uh, is that a practical thing to do today? No, just uh, you know, get your phone, play, stream music off of it if you want high quality. Audio. If, however, you like that soft sound of tape and you don't want to spend huge sums of money to get that um, that sound then that's a pretty good approach to take for under hundred dollars you get really good uh, analog sound quality and you have the ability to um, visualize the track information and I even did a little sound bar thing there but that's not tied to the music it's just it's just animated good but it looks like it's tied to it all right Thanks again, folks, for watching the video. Next video, we're gonna be t we're gonna talk about how we get one of these um, plain uh, audio tapes to play MP3 quality audio, and it's all about using uh, digital putting digital data onto cassettes. Yes, you heard me right. This little guys could play back. MP3 quality audio. All right, stay tuned for that video, and I'll once I get the new VCR in, I'll try to um, make another shorter video. See how well that one works as well.